वेलकम टू इंग्लिश विद अनस मलिक आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एंड ग्रेट एंड एंजॉय योर लाइफ इन अ बेटर एंड डिसेंट वे फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर लर्निंग पर्पज ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो एज ए इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज लर्नर यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन दिस यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस activities you have to follow these steps for improving your english language so without wasting your time let's get start the video so in this video we are going to discuss about how to train our brain for english to think in english as a english language learner we always whenever we start to talk with the others whenever we start to converse with other people we always stuck and what is the things that always reduce and stack us for conversating with other people so this is a very common issue this is a very common problems that most of the learner face during their learning process in this video i am going to share with you a very unique and a very important steps for improving and training your brain for english language learner so as a english language learner and you have to think how to learn english language so you just have to train your brain how to think in english so this video is for you and don't forget to see it and watch it till end so let's get start from the first thing and the first steps and that you have to work on it and that first step is start thinking in single word if you start thinking in single words this will helps you this will gives you a confident and encourage which helps you for the purpose of conversating so these steps to word thinking in a single words will lead you to words and other progress so before reaching to words the progress of the you want to achieve you just have to start work on the single word so think in a single word this will be a very helpful this will be a very useful for the purpose of thinking in english so this will also train your brain to start thinking so this will be a very boosting and a very useful technique for improving and thinking in english language so this is the first step and that is think in single word think in single word second step that is also very important and that is also linked with the first one also so what is this this is describe unknown words if you start learning from the single words you always face you always interact with a difficult words that you ever have seen before so how can you deal it and how can you improve and start and become the part of your memory so you just have to start describing those words so this description will helps you for the purpose of thinking english in appropriate way to thinking english in a right way so describing the unknown words if you get a words from different vocabulary that you never have seen before that you never have used it before so you just have to start describing it or when you involve in this activity it will encourage you it will boost your power it will empowering you and give you a confidence about using those words about working more words and more words and more words so this will also will be helpful for you to improving your vocabulary as well next step and that step is also important and link with the previous two one and what is this this is think in sentence whenever you pass out the first two steps that before mentions when you read towards the third one and that is think in sentence think in sentence so you just have to work on it you just have to start working on this this will be a very helpful this will be a very unique one and a very appropriate one for improving your english and thinking in english as well we mostly stuck we doesn't have sentences we doesn't have phrases 
we doesn't have the clauses and words for conversation so this will be a decrease our confidence level this will also a very boosting and very useful if you want to train your brain and thinking in english as a thinker and as you want to think in english you just have to follow these steps that i'm going to share with you all people so third one is that think in sentence if you think in start sentencing this will be a very confident this will be a very useful and a very healthy one for improving your english language so next step and the four steps that is also very important and what that step is that is describe your day we mostly performs a lot of activity in our whole days but whenever you start describing your day this will gives you a lot of sentences this will gives you a lot of words this will gives you a lot of phrases and clauses and themes and situations that you have to describe that you have to share that you have to gain and that you have to face in your entire day so try to describing your days that will be helpful for you to start thinking in english you just have to train your brains you just need to follow these easy steps i think these steps are a very useful and a very helpful for improving your english language as english language learner you must have to follow these steps so describing your day is a very unique trait is a very unique and a very helpful techniques tips and tools for improving or thinking in english this will be train your brain that you have to describing your whole day activity so this is also a very useful for improving your braining activity which is linked that how to think in english next step and that is also very important if you gain four these steps if you work on the above mentioned and before mentioned four steps the fifth step that is practice it daily if you practice these step daily this will be a very useful this will train your brain to think in english as we know that we mostly hurdles we mostly face difficulty when we have and when you want to speak in english so we doesn't have ability to think so these steps that i share with you a very useful a very helpful for improving your braining power so this daily repetition of these things will also helpful for you to improving your english language so as a beginner as a english language learner you have to work on it and you have to work it on daily basis start and making goals for your learning process of english language then you move towards the perfection and advanced level first you have to follow these four steps you have to follow these five steps this will be a very helpful this will be a very unique one for improving and helpful for your brain training that will be helpful for you to think in english so as a english language learner or beginners you just have to follow and work on these steps i hope so this video will helps you and give you a motivation and helps you to train your brain to start thinking in english so don't forget to subscribe this channel and share it with your friends thank you